Christianity and the Gaelic language both came into the Isle of Man in the same era, between 400 and 500 AD. The advent of Christianity in the island is traditionally attributed to St. Patrick. Hermit monks sought isolated places for prayer and contemplation. They built small structures, their monks' cells, in Latin, keller, which gives us the word in Manx for a church, keel. Ancient keel sites still exist. This one at Spootvern is Cavalfaric, the chapel of St. Patrick. St. Patrick blessed St. German as his successor. St. German is said to have developed the island's parishes around some of the ancient keel sites. About 800 AD, marauding Vikings brought turbulent times. Later, they settled as traders and farmers, and they too became Christian. Their most distinctive legacy is in the beautifully crafted, deeply carved crosses. The Vikings' military stronghold was on St. Patrick's Isle, and from their original wooden fortification developed the stone-built Peel Castle we know today. In 1134, Russian Abbey was founded, becoming the main centre of Christianity in the island for the next 400 years. About 1240, Bishop Simon began the building of a cathedral church dedicated to St. German on St. Patrick's Isle inside Peel Castle. Bishop Simon also began the building of a bishop's palace in Balaf, which is today's bishop's court. Well, dort me and skill show immer the character is Derek as Danny Elia. Treva mis ma gali eg was ma heres ma hin shul a reda chulis. From its roots in early Gaelic, the language in the Isle of Man developed its own unique features and forms, and it became Manx, the everyday language of the people of the island. But it was spoken, not written. It was Christianity that brought the Manx language in a written form, so that people could understand the scriptures in their own native tongue. The written Manx we know today first appeared in the early 1700s. By 1772, an Weibel Chasrik, the complete Bible in Manx, was published, and we also had the Book of Common Prayer in Manx. The Bible is the single biggest body of the Manx language, but the Manx people were also inspired to write their own religious songs in Manx, called carvels, many of which were later brought together in a collection. We also have music manuscript books with carvel tunes, and some carvels remain popular today. Other hymns translated into Manx were published from 1795, with famous pieces by John and Charles Wesley, Isaac Watts, and other well-known hymn writers. They can still be heard today in special church services, with hymns in Manx and readings from the Manx Bible. Sad go borger, kyong gut rit, rear borger and owl, as mutter dainy go borger, treated ren a crack. Santa of Richard. The island's cathedral is still dedicated to St. German, no longer in Bishop Simon's ancient building in the grounds of Peel Castle, but in the 19th century church built to the same red sandstone in the western port of Peel. The Christian tradition and the Gaelic language have enjoyed a long and overlapping history in the island since the arrival of both of them in the 5th century, and both remain important parts of the 21st century Isle of Man. Now they're brought together again in Kyrgyz as Faini, the Manx language version of Friends and Heroes. Here's the Kyrgyz as Faini project editor Paul Rogers, to tell us more about it. There was a kind of meeting uh, where the, the issue of doing this cartoon was raised, and the, the main problem 
uh, was who would do it and whether it would cost lots of money to get it professionally recorded and edited. And uh, I th at the time, I think I'd been doing some simple editing in school with my class of dubbing over things into Manx. And I, and I can remember thinking, well, I reckon I could probably do it on, on the computer quite easily uh, with a bit of help. And seeing as normally in the past, whenever Manx language has tried to uh, get cartoons or films or anything like that, that's been too expensive to get rights and stuff. I thought we've got an opportunity here where the, we don't have to pay anything to do it and it would be a shame to let, let it slip through our fingers. So I thought, well, I reckon we could have a go at doing it anyway. Nina catapult to next strike, Eden, Jaina, Irider and Maghaglach Shen. I held a kind of casting night at the, at the school at the Bunskalchilgech and invited loads of Manx speakers uh, to come along. People who spoke a bit of Manx but were interested in acting as well because that difficult thing, you've got to find someone who can speak Manx well enough to pronounce it all and also who can act a bit so it doesn't sound too dry. So basically recorded lots of people reading out a few lines of various characters and then listened to them and had to think about who was most appropriate and for each character. Mm -hmm. Bob Carswell translated the script and he did a very good job of, of fitting the Manx to the English syllables because of course the cartoon is designed for the mouths to fit exactly with the English dialogue and when you translate to another language it can be longer or shorter. <laughs> Bob did a great job of uh, fitting Manx words with the with the mouth, so that was good. But we had to make sure that the actors were speaking at the right tempo to fit in. So sometimes I have to tell them to say the, the line at three different tempos, and I have to choose the right one. And sometimes it was just there was no way of actually making it fit properly without editing it down and chopping out words that weren't important or even occasionally looking for a word from some other bit of dialogue and splicing it in to make their line longer. So stuff like that was a bit tricky. But in, in general it, it seemed to be it, it seemed to be alright. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. I think for anyone learning Max language, then to have a full-length feature, well, series of cartoons is a brilliant resource and uh, brilliant for children in school who are learning Manx because it's interesting, it's a cartoon, uh, but also for the Bunskel Gilgach or uh, in QE2 where we do lessons in Manx, teaching RE for example, then all the, the religious stories will be perfect for using in lessons like that, so it's got lots of applications. It's amazing how, how well it's turned out and uh, had some very complimentary uh, reviews from people who've heard it, so yeah, I think it's, it's turned out well. You've heard some of the background to the Christian tradition in the Isle of Man and to the Manx language, and how we came to make Kurgin as Faini, the Manx language version of Friends and Heroes. It's time now to sit back and enjoy those episodes. Saishis as Gautatnis, Jake Kurgin as Faini.